This Week on Machinery Pete TV. More from Sullivan's big online auction. Pete and Dan focus on a pair of choice, low-houred Case IH combines. Pete travels to Texas to meet a man and his John Deere A. And a small sale in Iowa produces a record-breaking price on this Deere excavator. Your machinery is a serious investment. And at the heart of every farming operation, some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. Today we got a treat for you. We're going to drop in and spend some time with my longtime friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. Of course, been sponsors of our Machinery Pete TV show for many years. And today we're going to focus on their huge farmer dealer online absolute auction out of Hamilton, Illinois. And we're going to put to the test a trend that's been picking up speed here the last three to five years, increasing buyer demand on good condition pre-DEF, pre-tier four tractors and combines. And on the show today, we're going to watch a 2004 Case IH 2366 combine under 700 engine hours and also a 2010 John Deere 8320R tractor, just over 2300 hours. Now, before we watch those online bidding sparks fly, we got to go back to the studio and catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. For the 12th straight month, the Rural Main Street Index remains above growth neutral, breaking down the numbers from Creighton University's monthly report. The index now sits at 67.7. That's up slightly from October's 66.1. 50 represents growth neutral. New research from ProAgrica says currently 87% of U.S. ag businesses are using artificial intelligence. That's up from 74% just last year. And 63% of company executives agree that the technology had a positive impact in making their companies more resilient to fallout from the pandemic. Well, about half of U.S. ag companies have increased their data scientist or other technologist headcount to support its use. John Deere union employees are back on the assembly line. That's after 61% of UAW members voted to approve a new contract with the company. The six-year agreement includes an $8,400 signing bonus, a 20% increase in wages over the lifetime of the contract, with 10% coming this year. Now, the contract covers more than 10,000 John Deere workers at 12 facilities. That's it for news. Now let's look at some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Good condition, low hour, pre-DEF, pre-tier four tractors have been going up in value, folks. Stay tuned. We're gonna watch a 2010 John Deere 8320R with 2306 hours so. All right, well, we have a red combine, a late model combine we need to focus on here next, Dan, a 2018 Case H 7240, 953 engine hours on it, I think 608 SEP hours. And Dan, this is from a dealer in central Illinois. Uh, I think I got that right, don't I? You sure do, Pete. This combine, they, they, they're repeat consigners, central Illinois ag, obviously mm. over in central Illinois with the great Smith family, we deal with yeah. Michael and uh, just a, uh, a great dealer, well respected. Put their name and phone numbers right on the on the ads and the and the website, and they field a lot of a lot of calls on it. We have a good uh, crop coming on, and uh, just a nice stand up combine. 
Yeah, uh, Central Illinois, a great dealer there. Michael and family do a great awesome. job. Now, Dan, uh, let's talk late model combines, the way the market's been here in 2021. I know, you know, gosh, five, six years ago, selling a three-year-old combine was kind of a, it was a different uh, task at auction when there were so many on the dealer lots, but market's been uh, strong here. I know you guys have had a, a number of very, very strong prices here this summer. Yeah, we have, you know, it's nice to, 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 to not have to be pulling our hair out ahead of these big set, big auctions like we were, you know, three, four, five years ago with a lot of equipment out there and trying to get it all through the pipelines. And, uh, you know, now it's just a total different market, total different atmosphere, total different attitude. And uh, there's just a lot of optimism. It's a great time to be in agriculture. And, uh, yeah, we've had some strong uh, strong sales there in, in June and, and, and early August. Some late model combines has been real strong. The 18 model, uh, 7240, just under 1,000 engine hours on it. Just sold for 220 And, again, from a dealer consignment, that is that's pretty good hard cash hash money right there, isn't it? That's a strong sale. And the bidding was just kept getting extended there, but yeah, just close to two hundred twenty thousand. But it kind of talks about the deal that we're working for there, Pete. Uh, right. Central Illinois Ag. They're known nationwide, and they do a great job. It's a great family, and uh, uh, yeah, it uh, it kind of helps when you're working with good people. All right, Dan. Another beautiful tractor here. We need to. Uh, put our attention to on your sale today. A 2010 John Deere 8320R, a one owner, 2,306 hours, I believe on your website, SullivanAuctioneers.com. It said Spring Valley Farm from Illinois. Yeah, it'd be a, 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 probably over there in West Central Illinois, Pete. Uh, yeah. Just a, a nice one owner tractor, uh, you know, been on the farm all its life, uh, you know, pre-depth, pre-tier four, kind of what they're wanting and low hours to boot. Yeah, and it uh, now a tractor like this, um, you know, an item that someone's looking to sell. Uh, when they come to you beforehand, I'm sure you get asked a zillion, zillion times, "What do you think this thing's going to bring?" I mean, it's a tricky market right now. It's been going up so fast, but um, that that conversation must exist on, on almost all this stuff that you guys sell, I suppose, Dan. It, it does, Pete. Uh, it's a good thing we have five telephone lines coming into our home office here, but uh, ringing off the hook. I think Matt, my nephew Matt Sullivan, and Matt and uh, uh, Luke, the brothers, and uh, kind of head up the uh, machinery division, if you will. And I, I know Matt was talking to these these folks, and, and I believe the story, if I remember, uh, Matthew said that they were tra going to trade that in on, on a new tractor. And the figure that the, the dealer was going to allow them, and, and I'm, I'm sure you can't blame them, but the, they called up and before they told us what that figure was, they asked uh, Matthew what they thought that tractor would bring. And uh, Matt kind of told him, I, I believe maybe in the 160, 65, he thought it would bring. And uh, so then they said, well, we think we can do uh, better consigning it so they can sign that tractor. So yeah. we'll see what it's. Well, I was about. looking uh, looking this morning, Dan, here before the sale started to close. And it was at 141,000 about an hour, hour and a half beforehand. And yeah, just yeah. like all these other items, these nice condition tractors, uh, well, on everything on your guys' sale at Sullivan Auctioneers, the bidding just accelerates down to the finish line. And uh, as again, as we're talking here, this one owner, 8320R, 10 model, just sold for 182,000. So I'm guessing you have a pretty happy uh, seller uh, right, right here today. Tractor went to Texas, $182,000. Wow, they'll be happy. Texas. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery Pete TV is brought to you by Kubota. Together, we do more.
Well folks, on November 10th, 2021, I drove down to New Hartford, Iowa to cover a small farm retirement auction for Dwayne and Velma Wessel. Now this sale was by our friends at the Steffes Group. Again, not much equipment on the sale, but boy, what was there was low hour, super sharp, and yes, record high auction prices on the tractors, but other record prices as well. Now, one sector that's been red hot for well over a year now are, have been mini or compact excavators. And on the sale November 10th was this very sharp 2018 Deer 50G. Only 61 hours on this thing. So that $72,000 sale price, folks, that's an all-time record high price at auction on a Deer 50G. Now, just one month earlier on a consignment auction, October 7th, in Woodburn, Indiana, a sale by Schrader Real Estate and Auction Company, this 2020 Bobcat E85 uh, compact excavator, 239 hours on it, sold for $93,500. Now folks, if you go to machinerypeat.com and click on auction prices, which it's all free to look at, we've got well over 4,500 auction prices over the years on excavators and mini excavators. And that 93.5, that's the highest auction price I've ever seen on a Bobcat compact excavator. So record prices around the country. I think this is gonna continue into 2022 on the mini excavators. Uh, I, I don't see this trend changing. Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week we're in West Texas, just outside of Lorenzo. Texas here and we're, we're with Marvin Schuff and Marvin this is your 1947 John Deere A why don't you uh, tell us about it this tractor was gave to me about three years ago and uh, it had been set out water had got an engine and I brought it home and my, my grandson said that's yard art granddad just paint it and park it out there and I, I said no I'm gonna get it running he, and he told his dad he said he'll never get that tractor running but <laughs> I've been around these all my life and I knew I could. So I did, I, I, I had the block redone in the head. And the guy that gave it to me come over, he wanted to see it and drive it. And of course I let him and he was, he was really impressed. Not every day we, we run across someone that, that gives someone a tractor. Was this a neighbor or just a friend? Well, he, he, uh, uh, he remodels houses and I'd used him and my daughter had used him and they'd become good friends. and. And he and he seen one I had out here, or two, cause he come out, and uh, he said I got one. I tell you what, I'll just give you, cause it's been sitting there for years in the pasture, you know. And I thought, well, okay. So I went and got it, and uh, it was a like I say, it was a mess. Had blowed mm -hmm. out tires, and it was you know horrible. My grandson, he's pretty good with a paint gun. He's painted several for me. It's a little dusty now, but. This is West Texas, and you got you have dust. Uh, yes. It's part of it. Now, what is again? What is the guy who gave it to you? What does he say when he sees it now? Oh yeah, <laughs> he he was uh, he drove it in, in the parade that day down here, and he drove it home. He was just tickled. I mean, as he could be. He just yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it home. I said okay. It's still uh, a lot of fun. Uh, they are, and really, that's all it is. It's fun, you know. And the tractor's not restored; it's just preserved. The Tire Grabber is designed with your safety in mind, supporting your heavy lifting jobs with a heavy-duty jack and tire handler duo. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit machinerypeat.com and click Sell Mine. Machinerypeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hi, Greg. I'm standing in front of this uh, beautiful 2004 Case IH 2366 combine. Pretty neat story with this combine. It was uh, purchased new by a retired uh, Case IH engineer. Just farmed a tiny amount of ground, but 
had a, a tie to these combines from the factory and, and always liked them, thought they were one of the best ones made. But uh, brought it here for the consignment sale. Uh, it's loaded up, has a rock trap, chopper, field tracker, 680 engine hours, 380 separator hours, 100% original hours, 100% right as rain. Uh, it'll be really neat to, uh, you know, see the home that it goes to and uh, see the pride that they take in the combine like the original owner did. A oh, holy smoke, 17 year old combine. What's the story on this thing? It does have a story behind it. Uh, Pete and you and I like stories. But uh, this, this combine that come up out, out of Iowa and uh, the story that we got, uh, the gentleman that, that owned it was an engineer at Case IH. Hmm. And uh, he passed away. And I believe that his widow is maybe in assisted living and, and the tenant uh, reached out to us and, and kind of gave us a background on this combine. They had like a two inch folder of, of all the records and the mm. day and what the weather was like when they changed the oil and photographs, a company with photographs. So uh, I don't know how many times over the years, Pete, you and I've talked about personalizing things and uh, you and I are no different. Uh, we, we like it, the story behind it. So this combine just had a great story. Small, the, the gentleman just and his wife just farmed a small amount of acres. Uh, the hours were, were right. The story was right on it. And uh, just a, a ton, ton of interest on that. And, and, you know, like we were talking there yesterday, Greg, I know you were busy on the lot, but uh, we've got a pretty nice crop coming on. Uh, in a low hour combine uh, kind of checks the boxes. We should have a pretty snappy. They're bidding on it pretty actively right now, but we should have a pretty snappy sale with this. Boy, I, I tell you what, Dan, uh, you know, early this morning, uh, looking at this thing at six in the morning, it was at 33.5, which is a very significant number for a 2366 on online auction a couple hours before it closes. But holy Toledo, the bids on this thing just flying in from all over the place. This thing just closed at $91,500. Dan, $91. that's the highest auction price I've seen on a 2366 since September 28th of 2013. Wow. So right at eight years. But again, where are you going to find a 2366 with 680 engine hours on it? Folks, I sure have had a ton of fun the past 32 years building our machine repeat business. Uh, a lot of fun memories along the way. Getting into YouTube back in 2009, posting videos. I think we've got over 1,800 of them posted out there now. Thank you for watching, spending your time with us. I think we're closing in on 29 million views now. Uh, and looking back, I like to go through some of the old videos. A lot of happy memories for me there. Uh, one video that stands out I posted on my 45th birthday was December 1st of 2010, and I spent the day out near Madison, South Dakota, covering an auction by my good friends at Weeman Land and Auction. Now, this was a farm sale. Some of you might remember it. It was billed as the auction of the decade, and it, it really was. Now, one of the items on the sale that day that I filmed was a 1995 John Deere 8400 with 1,501 hours on it. And as we watch a little bit of that old machine repeat YouTube video, uh, a couple things stand out. One, look at the crowd. Boy, you just don't see auction crowds like that anymore. I remember that day was very cold and uh, it was difficult to maneuver. There were so many people at the auction. And of course, these days, uh, when nice equipment like this shows up, uh, you know, we're all, a lot of us are at home on our cell phones clicking the bid button. But that 8,400 sold for 95,000 bucks. Now again, 1,501 hours. Imagine what that would sell for today. I mean, all we have to do is look back to earlier this year, February 8th, on a farm auction in Harlan, Iowa, where this 98 model John Deere 8400 with 4,033 hours on it sold for 100,000 bucks. Well, thanks for joining us this week, folks, on Machinery Repeat TV, and a special thank you to my great friend Dan Sullivan for walking through, actually, as the online auction was happening. And boy, we were right on uh, that hot trend of pre-def, pre-tier four demand for tractors and combines going up. The feature item, the 2366 Combine, 680 engine hours, 91.5, highest auction price in eight years on a 2366. And that 2010 John Deere 8320R at 182 was the fourth highest auction price in seven years. So we'll see you back here next week, folks, on Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. 
visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Order online at DakotaShine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today.